че е дойде от Франция. По мое настояване има тази смелост, защото да знаете, че това не е лесно. Второ, че лично на мен ми припомня едни красиви пейзажи и едни места, в които аз познавам и за които въобще не съм позозирал, че сме вече една такава висока, устойчива замисъл. Защото не сме се спрягат да бъдат до това, как се развиват течени на добините и действително мога да кажа, че това, което се прави е наистина след в тази област е по-добре и по-добре от трамвая, за който го е Франк Талималко. Например, видях райосите, които са поставени, ние тук се опитваме да си уничтожаваме ЖБ транспорта и трамвайните линия, те и във тук и се радват на това, което виждат. Така че ми мисля, че от тук насетне много въпроси, по-скоро много повече въпроси за във мен възгуди в негова колекция, ако им даде отговори. Наполагам, че ще имаме възможност камките на следващите и наши средства и да ги осъждаме. На мен това, което най-силно впечатление ми направи всъщност, беше и детата за връзките. Тези обикновени малки неща, но свързващи, които правяха всъщност голямото нещо, което е разрушаването на преграда и махането на стени, прибягването за прости решения. Това е нещо, което не може да може да не впечатли, въпреки че знае за вашата стратегия. И преди да ви дам дума, да ви дадете някакви въпроси, аз бих искала да задаме един въпрос на всеки нови. Money, 
and you can promote it and have more tourists, they say, okay. So we, it can, uh, uh, in Switzerland, for example, they do it really uh, uh, in a good way. Uh, they have a more uh, participative system that helps because they have a public participation on a cantonal system. Uh, and with the European uh, uh, Union strategy and the uh, Aarhus Convention, there were uh, a gap, but a new link between the local authorities, uh, citizen, resident, private sector, and because we all live together. And uh, uh, when you say people, uh, uh, you do what you want with your waste, uh, because you, we pay someone to take it for you. Uh, but when the, with the crisis, now they, we have the uh, Dijon people, they say, oh, the, the garbage, I will pick, pick it up and put it on the street myself because I will save 400 uh, euros per year. So um, everybody wants to save money and uh, everybody wants to live in a, in a good area. There, we are, there is a bigger matter for poor neighborhood uh, because uh, well, people they realize, oh, there is so much to do and it will cost so much. So we can start with the one that is not already totally destroyed. What is first? It helps. And how was the local community included in this process? Because you said that the municipality gave money to do all these changes. Mm -hmm. And what, uh, do, uh, what for, did the local people do? For, for example, uh, in La Fontaine Douche uh, neighborhood uh, where we work for Morbida, uh, everybody is uh, included. Uh, we have all. Um, association, local media, uh, there is even an over eater association, uh, um, kids, uh, there is social services, there is a, what we call MGC and a, a mediation center. Everybody, we go to uh, every public place, even the market, uh, the local market, and we talk uh, with the local people and to explain what we do and they are really, um, they are really aware and really uh, in uh, demanding the change. And it was the local people who asked the mayor to change. So he said, okay, we try, you want it, we do it, and let's see. And so it's right now it's still really working. So we have a, an adhesion from all the population and uh, because it's a two-year project, it's really uh, hard. Uh, we need to go there with a sociologist and a student to uh, make inquiries with uh, all local people, ask them what they want. Uh, we're not just, uh, hey, uh, this is good for you, we give it to you, and uh, whatever. So uh, that's why, because in uh, um, the old uh, Parisian neighborhood, uh, like uh, Le Corbusier in uh, Paris and, uh, or in uh, Marseille, uh, they decide for the people without their, their agreement. So the people say, well, well it's uh, nice, and you have a, a quartier or you have a Yves Saint Laurent light, public light. Uh, so they say, okay, uh, we send it. <laughs> uh, now, because they understand that it's for their better goods, they, they accept it. So, uh, it's just better. They no live like uh, uh, s some people say, like animal, uh, and they are really proud of it because they realize that they did it themselves. They applied. It. Is it your question? My answer. Actually, I was wondering just what the local people did. I mean, like, like do they plant trees or something like this? Yeah, so there is uh, plenty of action. Uh, I have, it could take uh, five hours just for this uh, neighborhood project, but uh, there is a shared garden, um, there is a, um, a map, uh, what we call sh uh, short, short uh, range uh, production vegetable systems. Um, they, they ask for it. They, they really ask for it. 
And, and so all the association that uh, existing in France, uh, they, we all put together with the, the mayor, stakeholders, the construction sites to, to ask them what they want. So they are really active in it. And uh, they ask for green green park, green area, uh, agricultural uh, place. Um, and they ask also for green uh, green area with, uh, to, to go to the, 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 the lake. And so it's, uh, it's really active, proactive system. Because based on uh, this uh, transition and system. Well, thanks, Frank. Um, I think you've killed a little bit uh, my enthusiasm because you said that everybody participated and it's one of the difficult things to do in Bulgaria. Mm -hmm. You've heard already the long story. But, now, in your experience, what is the size of the population that should be optimal? For instance, if it's a very small village, you don't have the necessary um, engine, social engine to, to promote it. And in a big place like Sofia, it's too big. Of course, you have to start from somewhere, but what would be the more or less the optimal size of population? Good question. Um, I would say um, 10,000 people size. 10,000. Because um, people have to see their own environment. Oh, um, I, I agree. Just a question about your experience. Yeah, because uh, with this uh, Dijon suburbs, we realized that even when we ask them uh, where are you living in Dijon, people say uh, if they are on the left side or the right side of the road, they say, oh, I'm from La Fontaine Douche or Chenot or Les Roche or Les Maraîchers uh, because they, they hate, they hate the, the other side of the neighborhood. We're the Europeans, we have to yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So uh, people, they are what we, the, the environmental consciousness, they have it. Like the, the, the medieval uh, definition of the world, it's like what we see all around the view. So with 10,000 people, you know everybody around. More, it's too far. It's uh, the others, whatever. So small is beautiful. Small is beautiful. But first, we, we thought that uh, uh, like small town, uh, uh, small town in France, it's, uh, uh, it's uh, less than 3,000 people. And uh, there were experiments with this size. Uh, and it's really easy to restore it, to develop it. But uh, they have no consciousness. 3,000, you say? Yeah, no, because of the size of the, of the town. But uh, it depends on the quality of the beginning. Uh, and because of the size, uh, if it's a poor neighborhood, I would say, um, uh, the municipality, in a lot of cases, they say, oh, for this size, we destroy everything and make it new. That's the idea. But with this size, 10,000, they say, oh, we can't destroy everything because it costs a lot. And uh, it will take uh, 20 years to build uh, the neighborhood. So it's a sustainable size. Well, it's not a scientific uh, model, yeah. but uh, I think it's more or less good. website that you showed us, uh, I really like if you can give us the address. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, uh, it's only in French and Google. Yeah, it's a uh, 3.20.org. 3. Uh, 3. Oh yeah, I saw it, you know, 3 yeah. Yeah, Because the idea is to reduce from 20% yeah. for, for the stakeholders, for the companies, for the individuals. So 3.20. We try to apply Kyoto principles, even if it stops this year. <laughs>
We don't know. Normally, this was a plan for for this year. Yeah, I, I had worked as a consultant for city planning in Scandinavia, and uh, I noticed that what they really understand from these maps when you show them some graphic, like you need to do that here and there. That's how stakeholders really. Yeah. So I really love that side. Yeah. yeah. Very and uh, we realized we should do it here. It's, it's short, uh, and uh, it was a, a good. Um, it was really great to work uh, together with a different kind of scientists. I mean, um, a computer science, uh, archaeologist, economist, because uh, mathematician, because yeah, yeah. we have our logic, we have a way of uh, make uh, schematization models. And uh, when we combine it, uh, we can make uh, something really easy. And I, with what I see uh, from 20 years, uh, even to, I would say, to uh, propose a project, uh, uh, academic project to stakeholders or to governments, uh, you have uh, two minutes to sell your projects. Uh, you have only one, uh, one chance to give uh, a good impression. And uh, you have to be really simple, just because when we are at your university, we, we know how to write and uh, uh, good writings, and uh, we are it's easy for us to write, 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 write. So we make 20, uh, uh, 100 pages, but uh, an accountant or a, a stakeholder he has no time for this. So shame, shame, shame. Just models, really image like children. And it works fine. You see, you see the, the model, you see the, the cartoon. Oh yeah, I understand. So it's okay. It's fine, and it's okay. In, in Scandinavia, they teach us that you should be able to sell your idea in the elevator. <laughs> Two minutes. To yeah. Run. Must be very long elevator. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, it's uh, it's the evolution between what I explained uh, and uh, the first part uh, 20 years ago. Uh, there were. It was understandable uh, to to save the the sustainable development. Uh, there were a fight with the economical development, so it was a fight between the, the models. Yeah. But now, uh, so it was also a fight, ideological fight with uh, money, with uh, marketing, with uh, those kind. But now they we understand that uh, uh, it's a market also. Uh, I, I hate myself when I say that, but uh, it's a market for our better good. And then if we can save money for the same time. You can actually avoid the market even going back to pay it. Yeah. And uh, it was a matter um, in France. Uh, I was living in Netherlands for a few years uh, and I uh, was a lot of time in uh, Switzerland. And they are all, they, they, they were more naturally uh, sustainable than in France uh, for a lot of reasons. Uh, but they, they realized really soon that they had to protect it and they start to say we need to protect it because we will save money. And they asked the WWF, they asked Greenpeace to have new strategy than in France. In France they were more aggressive and uh, it was not for, for their own goods. But now, now it's becoming bad. Because all, every, every people, they don't want to be like a kid. Uh, oh, what you do is bad, it's not bad, and you, are, you will go to hell, and blah, blah. So the people say, oh, okay, it's, uh, I'm a uh, uh, green scale. Uh, I'm uh, tired of green. So the idea is to make it sweet. <laughs> and it's not perfect. Huh? What I show you, it's uh, it's really good, and there is a lot of things to do. Uh, many, many more ideas for positive examples.
Видях се дълбоко, че това ще го видим в София. Видях се